Hello everybody, this is Monty Winky Dingler here, and I am playing Ghost Recall today. No, I mean, Future Soldier. Uh, whatever. But you can see that there's an Xbox controller, and why is there an Xbox controller in the first place? The only reason why there's an Xbox controller there is because, guess what? I'm playing this on the Xbox 360. Yes, that is correct. I got myself a capture card, which me and my friend set it up, but more of them because he did most of it. I plugged in the HDMI cables. Whatever. So, we're playing Ghost Recall. Uh, not Ghost Recall. Uh, whatever. I get those confused. But, let's call it Ghost Recall. Ghost Recall seems like a fun name. I'm going to be a rifleman, probably. Yes, yes. Um, just going to wait to spawn, then shoot at stuff. Yeah. Uh... Riflemen are enjoyable. <laughs> and uh, let's keep on playing this game because this game is so freaking amazing. Yes. Um, oh, today I just want to talk about what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this year, most likely. What I'm most likely going to be doing there for the rest of this year. Well, you see, I might be going to be playing Devil May Cry, you know, the new reboot series with that one dude named Dunter, and then, uh, he can, you know, go Super Saiyan and stuff, you know, that's the, that cool stuff, you know, you can kill demons, stuff, get shot, <laughs> no, you don't, I don't think you get shot, really, because they're demons, they only have swords, or arrows, I don't know for sure, but all I know is that they're probably, I think they're making fun of Fox News, which I'm happy for. <laughs> um, uh, I'll explain that later during this video, but um, you can already guess that I got hatred for them. Well, even though I view from their website to see what they're going to be posting, I mean, at least they got that thing called bias alert. But um, anyways, I'm just playing Ghost Recall. <laughs> Yes, Ghost Recall. Ghost Recall is the best game. Uh, We've spotted an inactive sensor. Capture and hold it. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to remember the controls because it's been a while since I actually played this game. As you can see from the example, I suck at shooting at people. Yep, just just flat out died right there. Um, well, yeah. Uh, what else to talk about? Really, about the channel. I'm thinking of having actually some gameplay series this year at least. Maybe at least two or three. Well, most likely two. I got this whole entire fucking year. Uh, so much in a year. Not really, because I'm usually lazy as usual. You know, I usually lie like that one time I said, oh yeah, I'm going to be uploading videos weekly. Uh, that was a lie. Um, this is just primarily a gameplay video slash update video of what I'm going to be doing. Yep, I'm with the United States of America and um, having fun. Having super duper fun. And, yeah. Really, what, what do we really want to talk about? Alright, I guess uh, I could talk about with like uh, Thix News and how I hate them so bad. Well, I hate them oh, no. even more now, because they're being like freaking idiots. Because, um, after that one shooting Connecticut, you know, Connecticut, um, Fox News was like saying, oh my god, uh, it's the, the only reason why he smashes, well, let me first off explain that, uh, the only reason why they were saying shit about video games and movies and other stuff, uh, was because um, the shooter, what's his face? Adam Lanza. Adam Lanza, is that correct? Adam Lanza. Um, basically smashed in the computer and then, like, you know, doing something rather useful, I guess, with it. I don't know what he smashed it for, really. But apparently, Fox News, like, blamed that, that the kid was, like, influenced by video games and movies and all that good stuff. You know, the bad part of society, the, the demons of society that are corrupting our children and making them not remorseful at all and not making them love each other and not making them love their parents. 
Yeah, you know that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, your friend getting in the way while you're shooting at somebody that's trying to kill you both, and then, yeah, it's kind of like that. Alright, but more explaining to do on why I hate Fox News. Um, for that little topic. Because, like, the research they gathered from an actual college, because they actually needed a college for this, um, <laughs> they basically just said, oh my god, like, y you would... It, the data off the the sensor. No work. offense, like, the survey was basically made by a bunch of college preps in, in, like, under, like, three hours of just playing, like, one simple video game. Um, and they were basically either looking at it from their viewpoint of playing a video game, or from, like, uh, I don't know, like, some perfect place viewpoint. It's like shooting that guy in the face, then trying to shoot this guy in the face, and then succeeding. Oh, look at that. <laughs> but, um, really, anyways, it's, like, disappointing as me getting killed by this one guy that just snapped your neck in half. Um, at least we're winning. Um, really it was like, the information, the survey they had, it was like, Oh right, aggressive video games make peop people aggressive. Uh, on my comment on that, I want to have to say, like, if you really do care about your KD, like, if you're one of those people who play, like, uh, violent games that are bad for children and everybody else in society, <laughs> um, basic, um, Ba they basically said, oh yeah, well, in my opinion about the aggressive video game thing where it's like, oh yeah, you get more aggressive after a long time playing the video game. Because you're basically used to it and you don't want to have a low KD, because that's reasonable. Who wants to have a low KD? It's like, it's like with every multiplayer game. Do you seriously want to have a low KD? No, you do not. Because if you want to be like pretty freaking badass and not like lose, you pretty much want to have a high KD ratio. If you don't, then you're gonna get mad. So, it's like as disappointing as basically shooting that guy in the face that was basically there. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, it was kind of really disappointing with the survey. Because the second thing, it was like basically the first thing. And the third thing, the third and final, was like, the most stupidest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. It was basically, um, it said, Oh yeah, non-violent video games, video games, that vi vi whoever you want to say it is, um, don't make people aggressive. It's all lies and you should buy more Mario games. Of course, Fox News is going to be coming up with yellow journalism, because they don't know how, to, no offense, they don't really know how to do their jobs correctly. I'm, I'm guessing they're sick of their jobs and don't really like it, so they're just coming up with a bunch of bullshit just to make things interesting in their lives, which is very reasonable, because <laughs> I'd rather not be a news anchor at all. I mean, literally, all you're doing is just telling the news all day. How kind of boring is that? I mean, you got to think about it. Just telling the news about stuff that nobody else, uh, and also, what, once again, there's proof about me playing on the Xbox, because I have I notifications on. Good job. And, um, basically, what I have to say against Fox News on their little, like, video game thing, was that it, it was pretty stupid of them just, like, trying to make up the stuff, because they never here. knew, Secure they, you know what, at times, like, I don't know that much about politics, I know like most things, like some of the things, but I don't know really every single detail, and like, whenever Fox News say some says something, it's like, oh, okay, I don't really care, but whenever they go on to a video game, like, topic or whatever, and saying how it's bad for people, it, it, it just, it, it brings me to a fucking halt with my dumb. Because you think about it, because you're ba like whoever like basically like owns a lot of video games and like plays them regularly, like maybe on a daily basis, maybe every like like maybe like an hour every day at least, maybe not, I don't know. But if you at least play like somewhat of video games like daily, then in my opinion you're a freaking expert at it, and you should like really just tell news anchors about it and not have like. 
indie corp indie like companies just say, oh yeah, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what's gonna be happening. No, they're they're kind of professionals, they only make the games like some indie game companies don't survive really, so I feel kinda of bad for some. But you gotta well, yeah, anyways, I'm just saying, in my own opinion, anyways, about that. And uh another topic that I thought would be cool if it was real was their topic about like terrorists using video games as like uh, training which I thought was very stupid but it would be kind of cool because imagine that you playing a game of Call of Duty or Ghost Recon Future Soldier and then like basically shooting up a bunch of terrorists so that right there meaning that I would let my kid play video games I'm pretty sure that was just basically advertising. <laughs> I mean, it was like such a blow black. Blow black. Just like that, uh, grenade that just basically hit me in the face. Um, I think it's kind of, I, it, if it would be, if it was real, I would be like, oh my god, thank god. Thank <laughs> Jesus. But, um, but it kind of disappoints me, because Fox News always makes shit up. And yes, I'm going to be mainly talking about Fox News in this video. You know what? Let's stop talking about Fox News. They're a bunch of bah. They're a bunch of bah. And bah. You know, duh. They're a bunch of guttural sounds and all that good stuff, or a bunch of sheep noises that you can easily make with your mouth. Like, meh. Meh. Or, I don't know what else you're going to be doing. Like, what I'm doing. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just wandering around aimlessly and just have just waiting until somebody gets out of the corner and then not looking in that general direction. Ain't that something. But, uh, anyways, um, Fox News is dicks, eight sticks on a daily basis. So let's talk about something else. Alright, let's talk about the video secure. games. The thing that I'm playing, you know, the. At, thing that most of the entertainment bi business industry is all about. <laughs> I mean, in the um, recent years, the video game industry has grown from at a very strong point. Like, it's grown very, very huge. I mean, you think about it, video games are a lot more exciting than movies and just music videos. Because when you think about it, Movies, no offense nowadays, movies are just reruns of like, old films. And you know what I think is surprising? I think it started in the 1980s in my opinion <laughs> anyways. Cause um, you all remember, or whoever's viewing this, the movie called Scarface, right? Remember with Al Pacino and all that good stuff, you know? Say hello to my little friend! You know, that good, awesome, famous quote line. But uh... They had a 1932 release of Scarface, and that was about around 40 years, 38 years before the Al Pacino one came out. And the thing that is like kind of sad to me is that in the 1932 one, it's basically about what you think the 1980 or recent one that came out was all about. It's about a guy just basically trying to earn his way up through like the criminal industry, you know, by doing that kind of stuff, by shooting people through smoke even though you can't see them. And then like he also gets very jealous whenever somebody hits on his sister or does like something like that. So yeah. Really the only difference is that what uh, the setting in the nineteen thirties two version is in Chicago. And the main character is white. That's really the only difference. And, um, yeah. And there's Thompsons in it as well, I think. Yeah, because the main character uses a Thompson, I think. I haven't really watched the movie. I just saw it on Netflix. Like, I just saw it that it was, like, right there. I, I was just looking for a movie to watch when they were bored. Because I was pissed up. Um, and, yeah. Really, that's what that was. Just like that guy was. And, uh. Well. What else is there to talk about? Uh. Video game industry is still interesting. 
Movie industry is going downwards in the downward spiral of downwardness. And, yeah. Final minute. Because when you think about it, movie industry... Yeah, right over them. Like, what, like what I said before, we're using, we're making remakes of, like, old great movies. And then turning them into shit. Even though they have pretty damn good, like... Awesome shit going on. It's just that and most of it, anyways, is unoriginal. And then, like, well, mostly action films and all that good stuff, except for the Expendables. Um, it's even Ghost. Uh, what's that one movie with Tom Hanks or not Tom Hanks? God damn it! Which uh, which one was that movie with that short guy that got dumped by his girlfriend? Oh yeah, Mission Impossible. That used to be a TV show. Did anybody know about that? No. Not until now. Until I said it. But it's weird. It's really weird how we start, like, taking ideas from, like, other people's work. It, it annoys me. And see, it annoys me when the other team doesn't pay attention and then we win so freaking easily. See, look at me. At the, I'm at the top of the leaderboard and I got more points than that one guy that got 22 out of 5. And, yeah, that's about it for the video, so I guess see you all later? Yeah, really, that's about it. Uh, my gamer tag is VOXMontyWinkyDangler. No, not Vega.